We have the men of David. Where when they see women bathing, they get attracted. We have the men of David. When they can use Mika as political use. We have Abraham. Who is ready to stay and wait for the purpose. We have the Sarahs. Who are ready to pursue their husbands. To go beyond or go before God. They are men with different characters. We are all not the same. They are men with oil. But they still have that attitude. So it doesn't matter how you see yourself. One way or the other you are connected. Abigail married to a fool. If you are not careful. You choose just any man as your hair. You are in trouble. And if you are a man. Then you choose a woman like Jezebel. You are in trouble. But there is other parts of Jezebel you need to know. She support. We, even though she's a negative woman. She was eager to stand and tell the husband relax whatever is yours i'll take it for you so the other good part of jezebel please don't don't just label her wrong we have the leaders that their husbands don't love them and they will do everything to make their husbands love them we have the riots who are loved by their husbands and because of their jealous heart their womb is closed we have the marriage that were anointed and god gave them the sea i want to locate all of us in one place so you understand who you are most of us don't know who we are. We just enter into relationship because I feel I love this. You don't feel, you don't love it. You don't know who you are. You don't know yourself. That is why you love today and you say I don't love again. But I've never seen love and it ends just like that. If you love, you love to the end. You love with everything. We have the Delilahs who use their beauty to bring great men down. That is why now people think that the physical beauty should be the epitome of every woman. They look beautiful. They look very attractive. Some have even got to the stand of expanding their backs and their front. All because great men are always falling. Men with vision can collapse because of a Jezebel. You may be too much anointed, but please don't stop believing yourself too much. It takes the grace of God. You may know the Bible. You may know everything. But let me tell you, be careful when it comes to things like this. Let God rule, I beg you. Let God rule. Because if you're not careful and you meet your delight, you are in trouble. You know, men of God, let me say this because I'm a woman of God. Many men of God can't tell you the truth, but they are falling. They pretend like the way Saul was pretending. As if God was with him, but God has already left. We preach with anointing, but we are dying inside. We can't tell anybody. We walk with our husbands as if we are perfect couples, but you are lagging. You are fighting and you are dying inside. The church refused to let the youth understand that marriage is not the show. And marriage is not about sex alone. The purpose of God in the beginning was to bring the woman to come in connection with the man. To help the man for the vision of God to be accomplished. The man was the one God directed and gave power to control and to lead. Every man rules. But without the woman, the vision of God cannot be accomplished. When Eve ate the fruit and told the husband I've eaten the fruit. I was expecting the man with all authority and power to say my God you've made a mistake let me deliver you. But the man ate but the moment God appeared the master is giving excuses. They are men who are just there to accuse you. Everything that happens is the woman. The woman you gave to me. Some men don't accept their mistakes because they are egoistic and they are ruthless because that's how God made them. So sometimes if you're not careful you're married to a man like that. You are in trouble. If you're married to a man like Nabel, you need to get the wisdom to be able to live with that man because he is a fool. It took Abigail to run ahead of the husband to go to David and tell David, my husband is a fool. You don't know his name. The meaning of his name is a fool. So I beg you with all respect I want to stand in if there is any curse that you want to give to my husband look unto me and bring the curse on me David looked at the Abigail and said wow what kind of woman is this there are women who will cover their husband's shame and prevent them from untimely death but if you're a woman like that I beg you don't go for Nabel for the rest of your life you'll be solving issues 